What's going on you guys? Paraco Taco here and today man Today we're just gonna talk about Mac Miller and um, how much of a great musician he was and um, Kind of how he influenced my life um, So that's what's coming up today on the channel I first started listening to Mac Miller back in high school. Um, uh, one of my buddies told me about him. It's when he had released Kids and he had the tracks Kool-Aid and Frozen Pizza, um, Nike's On My Feet, um, such cool tracks. So I listened to those. Um, and he was actually in Toronto uh, literally like a day or two um, after my friend had told me that it, about his music um, but I wasn't able to go because I had to do some schoolwork that I left for last minute but my friend still ended up going and he actually got Mac Miller to um, sign a plaque for him because it was like a meet and greet you know uh, he didn't actually have any albums out yet it was still the mixtape so it was like a meet and greet and he got his autograph personalized and everything like on a kid's um, plaque. So that, that was just um, really cool. Kind of sucks that I didn't get to go and get his autograph and stuff. But um, down the road I did see him in concert and stuff. So that was cool. So that was back in what? Like 2010 or 2011? Um, around that time frame. Um, and then into college, uh, I also listened to Mac Miller. Uh, I was a huge fan, like for me, I was kind of just starting to actually listen to music and he stood out to me, not just because his music is great, but he's also just a year older than me. So like I was just a kid in high school and this man was putting out like beautiful music to listen to. and hang out with your friends too so it was just it was something so unique and different that I had never really experienced before um so yeah in college I listened to him throughout college and to this day to be honest with you like I was actually so hyped when his latest um, album came out swimming you know kind of counting down the days for that to come out so you could listen to some new Mac Miller music in uh, in college um, there was a buddy I would hang out with too and we would just, you know, listen to Mac Miller and we both really liked him so much to the point where we'd be in class and, um, you know, trying to be all professional and stuff and my buddy just like yelled out um, a Mac Miller line that was, um, I think it was the one where he's like snorting coke lines off my dick. I think it's off Macadelic. Um, and uh, everyone in the class heard because he, <laughs> he said it fairly loudly. So everyone looked at him and they was kind of like, uh, Brian, are you okay? And, uh, <laughs> and me, I was like in the corner just laughing to myself because I was the only one that knew that that was a Mac Miller line, right? So, um, like that, that's a cool memory that I have of not of Mac Miller himself, but his music and how it influenced us and like strengthened our friendship, really. Um, we actually saw him in concert together uh, one time, which was pretty cool. So I kind of just jumped um, right in, but uh, if you don't know Mac Miller, he was born um, in January 1992 and he recently passed away on September 7th, 2018, at just 26 years old. Um, apparently it was an overdose, I'm not sure on what, but um, there isn't really a lot of information at the time of this recording, so uh, I'm just honestly um, sad, sad. I'm saddened to hear the news, man, like, um, I was honestly listening to Mac Miller um, and I actually fell asleep to his music. Uh, like I took a quick nap and when I woke up, 
uh, the music wasn't playing anymore and I looked at my phone and I had texts from various friends saying Mark Miller had died and I was, I was kind of like, what? Like, what? And man, it's, it's just so fucked. Like, I know um, that everybody dies and everything, but man, it's, it's just one of those that just catches you off guard, man, and it hits you right in the fucking feels, man. It's, that's why you can't take life for granted, man. A lot of people, I don't know, bro. I also wanted to share with you guys some of the collection, Mac Miller collection I have, I guess, the albums that I have. Uh, recently, like, everything's on Spotify and you stream and it's, like, impossible to get CDs, but, um, you know, a few years ago, uh, up until recently, it wasn't too hard to get CDs, so I actually have a few, and we're gonna start off with my favorite one. So, this is the Kids Mixtape. This, um, this is the actual, this is the actual mixtape that I ordered off Mac Miller's website. Uh, if you open it up here, boom, kids, the legit thing. Uh, so this wasn't like an official album or anything, but kids was kind of the, kind of what got Mac Miller on the map, so to speak. Um, it's when I first heard his music, like I mentioned, Kool-Aid and Frozen Pizza, Nike's on my feet. Um, just such a cool, cool mixtape and I'm so glad to have this in my possession. Next up, we have the debut album, Blue Slide Park, uh, which he did independently. Um, there's nobody featured on this album and he purposely did that. So, you know, it was just him and his homies, like the people that worked with him on the music to produce it. Um, so such a such a great album. I love this album. This was like I was bumping this like so much in college, man. I even had a, a long sleeve um, shirt with the album cover on it. Doesn't fit me anymore, unfortunately. But awesome album. Check it out. Definitely check it out. Then we got watching movies with the sound off really good album too i really like this one just like a hidden message in this album so it opens up four ways like this and he actually um, recorded this around the time one of his friends um, passed away um, like a very close friend to him um, and here's kind of the hidden message that i was talking about if you kind of take the glue off there's a hidden message here in the album. I'm not gonna read it right now, but it's it's pretty cool. It's basically Mac um, when he was all faded and I guess recording the album and it's just kind of like a little secret thing in there. Um, just, you know, just the creativity of Mac Miller in this album, so really cool. This album was also really good, Good AM is the name of the record. Uh, as you can see, you got Mac Miller yawning. Um, just look at the inside of it. Really cool album. He had a like a special edition of this album where it actually came with a cereal box and uh, cereal. There was like a little bowl of cereal and like a little mat that you could, um, that you could eat the cereal on while listening to the album. Um, and my buddy JP actually bought me it. It was, and I actually listened to the album while eating the cereal. It was um, actually really, really cool. And the final album I have in my possession is The Divine Feminine, which is also a very good album. Like, if you haven't checked out Max Music, do it now, honestly. This one features um, Dang with Anderson Pack. Some really good tracks on here, man. I really love this album. And then I don't have um, the others in physical, but there's obviously Swimming that came out recently. And he had so many other projects in between, like mixtapes. There was um, Macadelic, um, there was Best Day Ever. There was also a mixtape called Faces and a bunch of other 
other stuff, you know, that he would experiment and make. And um, such a great, great artist and human being. And I feel blessed to have seen him more than once in concert. I remember one time uh, we went to his concert and he was rocking a Maple Leafs jersey um, that he bought at the airport, which is amazing. And like, um, hockey clubs, man, they play his music in like the dressing room, like Philadelphia and Pittsburgh, they're all over that, man. So just such sad, sad news. Um, rest easy, Mac Miller. And um, thanks for tuning in, you guys. Thanks for listening. And until next time, peace out. Braco Taco.